Good morning. How is that super full moon for y'all? <laughs> Goodness gracious. If you're new here, feel free to let me know in the comments and welcome. I'll go every, over everything in just a bit. I'm telling you, Jamie, our brains are linked. <laughs> Good morning, Heather. Thank you. You were sick? Uh-oh. Maybe you were releasing things. You know, oftentimes, not always, but oftentimes when we get sick or we feel sick, it's because there is a vibration leaving our body. There's something literally like detoxing out of our body. You were sick too? Oh my goodness. Hey, Miss Lupe, I got your application, so I'll be in touch soon. I don't know if it's going to be today. It might be tomorrow, but um, y'all, today I'm going to get my youngest son his driver's permit. Eek. This is huge. <laughs> like, when did this happen? <laughs> hey, Miss Ann. I was sweating and tossing and turning. Interesting. You know what was interesting is last night... <clears throat> I had a dream, I don't remember the entire thing, but I had a dream that I was in some place and I was in water. I think I had taken like the jump first, the leap first, kind of like almost like cliff diving, but I was turned around and I was watching, you know, other people jump in and then they would come in. I'm like, you okay? And they're like, yeah, you okay? Yeah. And I was like, that's very interesting that I had that dream on the super full moon, you know, because for me... It symbolizes like, okay, I went first <laughs> and now I'm turning to make sure y'all are coming along. Those of you who are taking that leap of faith and we're going on to this new energy. And what's funny is the people would jump into the water as like adults, but when they surfaced, they were more like kids. So to me, that made me think of, of the fool, you know, they're starting a new fresh journey, fresh journey. They are innocent. Maybe they are the pages in tarot, right? Remember, pages are always messengers, young people, apprentices. So. <laughs> Fountain of youth. Yeah, maybe. Make sure he's ready for his picture. You know, he told me he was uh, concerned about um, his hair and his picture. I said, well... The good thing is, you know, if you want to go get another picture, we can get another picture when you get your real license, but I don't know. <laughs> Boys. Makes you think of the Umbrella Academy. Ooh, interesting. I like that. Aries is a self, and that house governs the physical body. Yeah, there you go. Okay, well, let's get started. First, what we're going to do, I just wanted to share that with y'all because I thought it was very interesting. If you have a, a dream or anything like that, put it in the comments, and we'll talk about it. Um, but anyways, I even had, had a revelation for someone this morning as I was getting ready for the live. I was like, Oh, I had to text her, <laughs> let her know what came through for her. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool what's happening so far and I'm excited. I don't know about y'all. Okay. So what we're going to do first, if you're new here, welcome. We do this every Monday and Friday. We're going to look at what is happening Thursday. I'm sorry, Friday through Sunday. We're going to look at the weekend on Mondays. We look at Monday through Thursday. I pull a tarot card for each day. We see what the energy is bringing us and we talk about it, okay? We see how we can either, you know, kind of back off or we can go forward. It just depends on what card is drawn, okay? And the more that you come to these sessions, the more that the readings are gonna resonate with you, okay? This is a collective reading, so if you want a private reading, the link is in my bio. And TikTok, I finally found the uh, button that'll hopefully keep me from getting restricted. So annoying. I can't remember my dream, but I remember right before I woke up, I spoke or someone else spoke a sentence. I woke up, it was 2.22. Oh, you don't remember what was said? I hate that. <laughs> Y'all are so sweet, thank you. Okay, so let's 
boost our energy even more. We had the, the full moon, the super full moon in Aries, right? Aries is the I am. Aries is like how you approach life, how you approach the world. It's also the body like Jamie was talking about. So there might be some different uh, experiences that you have throughout the next you know, few days or week or even months. It depends on if you're setting intentions. Last night, I did my intentions not to manifest, but I just set intentions for what I want the, the full moon to you know, illuminate for me. So you can do the same thing. You can even do it tonight, okay? So anyways, we're gonna boost our energy. This lasts just a few seconds. If you're wearing earbuds, just be aware. I When I it, <laughs> I don't wanna hurt your ears. This is a high frequency. This is called the angel frequency, okay? It's an all over boost. You just listen to it, absorb the tone, and then we'll get started with the reading, okay? So here we go, watch your ears. There we go. I about busted my eardrums on that one. <laughs> Telling everybody else, watch your ears. And I'm like, bing. <laughs> you had such an amazing release last night. So much clarity. Good for you. Haircuts during this time increase your beauty. Well, maybe I should have waited. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. Let's get our fairy blessing and see what is coming for us this weekend or what is available for us, whatever you want to say. <laughs> yeah, Cheryl, that was, a, that was a bit loud. And I'm glad you made it to the live now. I'm glad it's working. Um, yeah, it depends on how hard you strike it or where you strike it. Like today, I just happened to hit the right spot. Um, Sometimes it's a little bit more dull or quiet, uh, but yeah, today apparently that Aries energy was fired up and I knocked the shit out of it. <laughs> Good thing the dogs weren't in here. Okay. Hey, Tracy. Okay, let's see what our fairy blessing is for the weekend. And then on the weekends, on Fridays, we use the divination book. I'm going to show you how to use the book. You can find this on Amazon TikTok. I can say that now and you're not going to restrict me. <laughs> and it's also linked in my bio. I wrote the book for you if you want to use tarot, but not have to learn tarot. Let's see what our fairy blessing is. I think it says a blessing of the grouping fae, but let me grab the book because again, this font, not easy to read. It's number 31. So let's see. I don't know if we've ever pulled this one. Yeah, I think it is grouping. It says the fairy gift of, y'all don't mind my fingernail. I broke it the other day trying to open the thing of um, pepper when I was cooking dinner. So I got to go get that fixed this weekend. <laughs> so yeah. Anywho, it says the fairy gift of finding your purpose and walking your path. Ooh, ooh, how perfect is that after this full moon, right? Because I just said, this is an Aries full moon. It is the hunter's moon, okay? It's like huge, big energy. I know it's squaring with some stuff. Jamie can maybe fill us in. I don't know. But still, this is all about how you are moving forward in life. We still have the north node in Aries, okay? We're moving towards our, our purpose, our identity, and we're taking action on whatever it is that we desire, okay? So I'm going to read that again. The fairy gift of finding your purpose and walking your path. There are fairies who dwell in one place all, all their long lives, caring and protecting, the guardians and the watchers. And, they are, and there are fairies that move on the old paths along the ley lines, dragon lines, energy paths of the planet. These fairies walk these lines each solar return, clearing and cleansing energy, knowing where they must go and what they must do. With this card, they offer you their gift that of knowing which path you need to walk and what you must do and where you must go. That's exciting. 
May there be no more confusion about your purpose. May each step this day feel feel filled with an inner calling and mission. May you feel the energy rising up from below the earth to meet you and support you. And may you know that every your every footstep is a ritual, an act of offering to the planet. Let there be a simple, deep knowing that everything you do this day has purpose and meaning. And let fulfillment come to you in the places where you have felt empty and unsure. Let this blessing of the wanderers, oh, the trooping fairies, who keep the ways of energy alive in the world, come to you this day and give you a true sense of your life and your every footstep being valuable. Your very breath is a gift to the trees. Let the certain... Whoops. Knowing that your life, just as it is, is enough. Isn't that funny? I just put on this sweatshirt this morning. It says, you are enough. And on the sleeve, it says, always. <laughs> Yay. Uh, just as it is, is enough. Is purposeful. And what you are meant to be doing, come to you. And if things are meant to change, then the Trooping Fae will come to you and offer you their gifts so you know which path you need to take. Very blessings of true path and deep purpose to you, bright soul. I like that. Yes, I am just starting. We just did the fairy blessing. Uh, these are called fairy blessing cards. It's pretty, pretty simple. It is by Lucy Cavendish. You can find it on Amazon. Okay. Great cards. So res resonating. I know. Yeah, there is a full moon in the tree. Good catch, Heather. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so focused on reading it to you and everything, but yeah, look at that. And look at this unicorn. It is like, it looks like it's facing things head on, right? I love that. Very powerful energy. And the unicorn and, and she are connected because look at the, the crescent moon there on her staff and on the unicorn's horn, right? These staffs in tarot and in oracle represent power and intention, Okay, kind of like a magic wand. So that's, that's exciting because I know, I know a lot of people suffer with what am I supposed to be doing? Where am I supposed to be going? And when we have this blessing come in, which has never come out of this deck before, that's a big deal, especially when it's connected to this Aries full moon. Okay, because this full moon is meant to guide and direct us to our true self, to our true identity. Okay, and what's funny is I'll share something with you is last night, one of my intentions was please allow me to be the person that I'm meant to be or that I, that I set out to be on this planet or something like that, that I came here to be, you know, or no, I give myself permission to be the person I came here to be. That's what it was. I can remember my own intention. Okay. So I think this is perfect because this goes along with that. And it, it's a blessing for everyone to be able to give themselves permission to be the person they came here to be because you came here for a reason. Okay. You have a unique vibration. Are you meant to be famous and do big things? Not everybody. No. Okay. I don't even know if you want to be famous these days with all this stuff happening. Right. <laughs> but you and your path matter more than you understand because it's all part of the ripple effect, just like the whole butterfly effect situation. You know, a butterfly flaps its wings and it changes the course of the weather. So you do the same thing. Okay, so now we're going to use, uh, you mentioned that we could still release tonight, even if the full moon was last night. Yeah, yeah, the energy is still strong. I looked out my window this morning as the sun was rising and got it. I've got a view of the moon. Nice. I don't know why I can't talk today. I've been watching you over two years, and I don't remember that card ever coming out. I know. That's what I'm saying. It has never come out. I, not even in personal readings has that card come out. So, yeah. Okay, so here's how we're going to use the divination book to... Re My brain is working so fast, you guys. My mouth cannot keep up. Bear with me. This is the divination book that we are going to use to uncover what energy is coming up for us this weekend. We're going to pull a card. These are all the tarot cards, direct and reverse, okay? We're going to pull a card for each day, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, okay? We're going to use this energy to our advantage so we can 
embody this Aries energy, okay? What deck did that come from? It is the Fairy Blessing Cards. You can find it on Amazon, okay? It's F-A-E-R-Y Blessing Cards. Okay, I know, deep breath. I, my brain gets so excited that it's just like, da -da 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 -da, and my mouth just like, nah, it's not happening. <laughs> so anyways, all right, let's slow down the energy and focus the energy into the book. As you're watching this, focus on the book and ask it. Let's cleanse it off first because we want to knock on it just like we would a tarot deck because this is a tarot divination book, okay? Slow down your energy. Focus your energy. And you're going to feel some tingles in your palms because you have energy centers there in your palms. And we are, we are sending the intention into the book, okay? So we're going to ask the book, what is our message for today, Friday? And you can do the same thing as you're watching this. Focus on the book. Ask it, what is our message for today, Friday? And then we turn to an intuitive page. Ooh, we got the Hierophant. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to read this to you. Today you drew the Hierophant. Today, you may have someone approach you for advice or insight into a spiritual matter, or you may seek advice or knowledge yourself. The energy also supports checking in with your core values and where they come from. Are they yours, or were they programmed by religious beliefs or leaders in childhood? Do they still align with you? How do these core values support and shape your life? Maybe you're seeking more education. What are you seeking to know more about? If you want to enhance your knowledge, today is a great day to commit to this journey. The keys to higher knowledge are always available. You just have to ask. And if you're wondering if you should commit to a new job, relationship, or educational journey, the energy supports you. I mean, how perfect is that with this blessing of knowing your way, of figuring out where you want to go? The higher fent is like, this is a major arcana card, okay? This is a big deal. The Hierophant is saying all of the answers are available to you. You just have to ask. If you're wanting to learn something new to get you to higher levels, you can absolutely do that. But you have to commit, okay? I have many people who have applied to my Quantum Master Academy and their commitment level just is not there. And so I have to tell them, look, I, I, I can't have you in because we're going to spend the entire year together and I'm going to teach you all of these modalities, all of these tools. You're going to get up to eight certifications. If you're not committed, like on a nine or a 10, then I'm sorry. You know, it, it, it's all about you. If you're wanting to do something new in your life, it doesn't matter if you're wanting to start a new career, if you're wanting to learn spiritual practices, if you're wanting to get healthier, whatever it is, you have to commit to it, okay? This is something you're doing for yourself, right? And the Hierophant is saying, I will teach you, I will guide you, I will show you the way, but you have to show me you're committed, okay? So let me write this down so I don't forget. Okay, the book is called Mystic Muses for the Modern Goddess, for those of you that are asking, okay? It is linked in my bio. I, I put a direct link right there for you, or you can search it up on Amazon, okay? This is the, Amazon's the only place that I have it right now. I've been recently approached by a lot of people for advice. I'm not that type of therapist, though. I do my best to guide them. Hey, all you can do is your best. You just come in and today it makes you feel good. Good. I've signed up for classes, but actually have to actually do them. Yes, yes, you do. <laughs> Thank you, Domingo. Okay, so let's focus the energy again and find out what our card is for Saturday. Breathe, focus on the book and ask it, what is our message for Saturday?
I hear y'all asking. I like it. Okay, we got the world reversed. We had that last Saturday. Okay, let's read it. Two major arcana, you guys. That's a big deal. So the world reverse says you have an opportunity to level up, but something is holding you back. What is it? You have not come this far in your journey only to stand one inch behind the finish line. That's not what a goddess does. She sees the opportunity to level up and improve her life and takes it. She would never let anyone or anything stand in her way. She knows that what is meant for her will be hers and what isn't is purely a lesson and an opportunity for growth and she has no problem leaving it in the past. So which is it? Stay stagnant or strut over the finish line like you're on a catwalk? The choice is yours. Okay, getting called out again. Getting called out again, okay? <laughs> because I, I had to... Uh, you know, there are people also that apply for the QMA and as soon as they find out that, yeah, there's a tuition that is to be paid, they, oh, no, 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 I can't do that. And you know what's funny is I had four people, you guys, four, who at first said, oh, no, 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 I can't do that. I can't do that. And then I don't have the money. And then all of a sudden, something changed and they have the funds. Okay manifest what you want. <laughs> Don't forget about manifesting, you guys. Because again, if you're three feet from gold and you give up, oh, no, 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 I hit, I hit a, a, a rock, you know, I hit a roadblock, I hit an obstacle, I can't do that. You're forever gonna stay three feet from gold, okay? But if you have determination and you know exactly what it is that you want, you make shit happen, all right? Let's do Sunday's energy. So whatever is holding you back on Saturday, you need to ask yourself, why, why am I letting this hold me back? What is going on where I'm, I'm second guessing myself or I'm refusing to step over that line? You know how I said my dream, people were taking the plunge, they were jumping, right? Why am I afraid to jump? What is it? Am I afraid of this new, <clears throat> this new life? Am I afraid of success? Am I afraid of, you know, not being enough? Am I afraid that I don't have what it takes? You wouldn't be at the precipice of this new adventure, whatever it may be. You wouldn't be there if it wasn't meant for you. Okay. Just so you know, and I'm going to keep saying it to you over and over again until it sinks in. <laughs> you move this weekend. Awesome, Tanya. Okay, so let's see. Focus the energy. Focus on the book. Slow your breath. And ask it, what is our message for Sunday? What is our message for Sunday? Let's see. All right, we got the hanged man reverse. You guys, we got three major arcana this weekend. Huge energy, if you don't know, okay? Your cat sitting on Saturday, all oh, fun. Okay, today you drew the hanged man reversed. You've seen enough and it's time to get moving. Detaching from what no longer serves you is the most significant power move you can make. Of course, it's easier said than done, but that's why it's a power move, goddess. What isn't serving you could be a person, place, or habit, and it's up to you to walk on. You know what's best for you. Now it's time to prove it. Ooh. Are you going to hang around and wind up in the same place next year? Or are you going to level up? <laughs> I forgot I wrote that. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, right? <laughs> because the hanged man is, is all about seeing things from a different perspective, like taking a pause to, to be able to see it from a different perspective as far as like your spiritual perspective, okay? The hanged man wants you to like pause and just maybe put yourself in another, another person's shoes or get out of your own head and look at it from your spiritual lens to see what the solution may be for you. 
And when it's turned reverse, it means, oh, you've had that aha moment. Now it's time to move forward. Okay. So the hangman is saying, are you going to hang around and wind up in the same place next year? Or are you going to level up? Can you imagine being in the same place you're in right now next year? Ugh, that's a nightmare, right? I've told y'all, it, it reminds me of that uh, movie Groundhog Day. I hate that movie. <laughs> it's a nightmare for me. So that was the divination book that we use on Fridays. It's called Mystic Muses for the Modern Goddess. I wrote this book. It is human written, not AI. It has every tarot card in here, direct and reverse, and it's all going to call you out. I'm just saying. So if you don't like to be called out, don't get the book. It's linked in my bio, or you can find it on Amazon, okay? You will not good. It is a nightmare. I know, man. I hate it. Thank you, Tanya. She said it's a great book. I have old toxic, toxic friends that, unfortunately, I see at school sometimes, and whenever I see them, it ruins my day. How do I stop those negative thoughts? Don't let them ruin your day. If they're toxic realize they're toxic and that's all their crap okay try to like lessen the time that you have to be around them in a whatever way you can okay but don't let them put all their nasty energy on you remember put up your shield and your filter your white light shield and filter put that up and uh, like affirm that every negative thing that they say think do feel whatever is going to bounce right back to them and it's going to miss you. It's kind of like, you know, I'm rubber, you're glue. Whatever you say bounces off me and sticks to you. Same thing, you guys. It's the same thing. Okay? So don't allow somebody to ruin your day because that's your whole day. And they are controlling you. Don't let them do that. You're better than that. You're stronger than that. Okay, let's get some Oracle. I had to do the same thing. It's a process, but it really works. Good. You guys are amazing, and you're learning, and you're growing, and you're evolving. <laughs> okay, what else do we need to know? Three major arcana this weekend, you guys. That's, that's a big deal, especially, like I said, with this full moon. The universe is like, now is your, your chance to, to do whatever it is that you feel drawn to do. Just get out of your own freaking way. Stop psyching yourself out. Make shit happen, okay? All right, let's see. What else do we need to know this weekend? Oh, we got deceit in reverse. Yay. This is telling you that all the stuff that, all the crap that you've had to deal with in the past has the ability to no longer be your future or your present, okay? All of the deceit, all of the hard times, all of just the BS. You know what I'm talking about, right? And this is telling you that all of that is behind you. You don't have to experience that anymore if you don't want to. But you have to make that conscious decision. You have to commit to this new way of being. You have to commit to this new way of thinking, speaking, feeling, acting, all of that. Are you willing to do that? Tell me in the comments, are you willing to do that? Because I want to know. Halloween week is week 44. Oh, I did not know that. Y'all will do that. Good, good, good. Instagram, y'all are lagging. Where are you at? There's Jamie. <laughs> nice. There we go. You heard, you heard me say the seat. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Deceit. It would be such a huge weight off. Well, it, it can be right now. <laughs> we have to decide. And this is what I was telling uh, my tribe in, in the, the readings that I did for them last night. Hey, Miss Tara. Um, you know, when you're doing affirmations, sometimes... You know, affirmations are great, but sometimes your your subconscious gets in the way and you try to affirm something and it's like, no, it's not. No, you don't. So what you can do to, to get around that 
is you can say, I give myself permission to, and then whatever it is that you want to experience. I give myself permission to find peace or to receive peace or to be peaceful. I give myself permission to be abundant. I give myself permission to be loved. I give myself permission to love. You know, whatever it is that you want, give yourself permission. Because what that's doing is it's getting yourself out of your own way. Okay? You're realizing that you are blocking all of it. So now you are giving yourself permission to receive that experience. Right? It's nice, isn't it? <laughs> hey, Bailey. All right, let's get some more. You missed the readings? Well, we had the Hierophant, the World Reversed, and the Hanged Man Reversed. Where'd you go, Heather? You were here earlier. <laughs> I'm teasing you. So yeah, the Hierophant, the World Reversed, and the Hanged Man, or Hanged Man Reversed. Oh, you missed the ones last night. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, it was in the, in the, in the app. Always in my own head. Definitely going to try that. Good. Try it and please let me know. Okay? Because it's a whole different feeling when you affirm that. I give myself permission to feel. Ooh, often avoid this to self-protect. I understand that, Naomi. Yeah, let yourself feel. Because if you stop allowing yourself to feel things, you're not going to feel any of the good stuff either. It's like you're trying to escape the bad stuff, but you're still not going to feel anything. So, yeah, good for you. All right, let's see what else. Let me adjust these blinds just a bit because my eyes. Oh, still. Oh, God. There, that's better. <laughs> now I can see without burning my retinas. I give myself permission to have financial freedom. I like that. Need to release. Yep, you do. Let's see what else we need to know this weekend. We have Golden Palace in reverse. Okay, let's see what it wants to say. Now remember, anytime we have a card show up, you have the ability to turn it direct or reverse. Whatever is going to work out best for you because you have free will. We're seeing the energy happen, right? You can change it if you want. So when this is a reverse, let go of your tight hold on what you believe security should look like. Now is the time to conserve your energy and count your blessings. Remember, gratitude brings in more. Okay, so be grateful for everything. All the good things that happen throughout your day. Just energetically say thank you and like feel it. Okay, uh, let's see. Resist the pull to become miserly. That means don't hoard your shit, okay? Because that's a lack mindset. <laughs> there will be enough money, love, youth, food, and shelter to go around. A mindset of fear and lack will shut off the flow of true abundance. Trust in the tides because the flow always returns from the ebb. Chop wood, carry water, as the Chinese proverb says. Practice faith and the treasure will be revealed. In fact, you'll find it in plain sight. Remember the affirmation, everything I spend comes back to me times 10? Okay, so I've given you some really strong affirmations to use. I give myself permission to, and everything I spend comes back to me times 10. If there's money that you need to spend on something, whether it be bills or something new, or maybe a repair or whatever it is, give gratitude that you have the money to be able to do so, okay? Give gratitude that the money is always flowing right back to you and you have no worries. It works like a charm, okay? I know this because I do this every time. <laughs> every time I pay bills, I'm like, thank you so much. And everything I spend comes back to me times 10. And it does, okay? And it shocks my kids too. They're like, holy crap. And I'm like, yeah, it works. <laughs> On the affirmation side of your saying, I feel versus I am reminded... Oh, on the affirmation side, you're saying I feel versus I am. Reminded me of that. I 
stop saying it. Oh, yeah. Yes, they are, Miss Stephanie. Good, good, good. What she's saying is, is I was talking about, you know, stop saying I am this or that. You know, I am tired. I am sick. Whatever it is. No, you say I feel, okay? Because feelings come and go. I am is forever because you are claiming this is what I am. You are creating that persona. You are creating that reality, right? So when you say I feel, that's a, that's a passing energy, okay? So I feel sick, but I'm getting better. I'm getting better and better every day. See what I said? I am getting better. You just claimed you're always getting better. Instead of saying I am sick, you're saying I am getting better every day. Okay. All right. Should we dare to use this deck and see which card comes out? <laughs> I mean, I might as well just shuffle through and pull the same one out, right? Okay. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know for this weekend? Yes, I'm improving every day in every way. Whoops, hang on, Maddie, I'm sorry. Yes, I am as your being. I feel as temporary. Absolutely. You say a different card will be selected? I hope so. What's interesting is we just pulled, it's not the community card. We, this one bounced off, but look, we have poverty. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to flip you all off. We have poverty, but then look what's next. Unexpected income. That's why I paused, because I was like, do I take both of these cards? And it was like, yeah, but this one first. Remember how I said there were at least four women that said they couldn't get into the Quantum Master Academy. They didn't have the money. They didn't have the money for the tuition. And I'm like, mm, don't forget about manifesting. And then boom, every single one of them came back and said, I'm ready. Circumstances have changed, whatever has changed. I don't, you know, everyone was different. But it's like going from a poverty mindset to an abundant mindset, okay? We have 37 creating, positive, creating poverty and 27, being in balance in deciding to be abundant, okay? Both of these have sevens attached to them. Seven is the spiritual number, okay? We have 23 on the golden palace in reverse, and we have 25 in deceit in reverse, okay? Lots of decisions being made, okay? Balanced decisions, not hasty decisions, not fearful decisions, Decisions that, you know what? Yes, this is what I want. This is what I'm doing. This is who I am. Okay? Um, let's see. Let's do another spirit animal. I'm really liking this one again lately. Ooh. Even though I bitch about the size every time, but I still love this deck. <laughs> yes, 9 and 10. Yep, step, step. Stair-stepping things, you know? The last two major arcana reduced to three. Yeah, if you'll notice, it's 21 and 12. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know this weekend? Ah, sea turtle protection. You are master of finding life's flow. Be in harmony with the rhythm and your path will unfold. You guys remember the fairy blessing? Remember this? It said you're going to discover your path this weekend. If you commit to this journey, okay, and you understand where you're holding yourself back and you get your ass moving, <laughs> okay? So, yeah. Um... Persevere and you will succeed, like I was just saying. You have everything you need to be protected and happy. Isn't that cute? I'll hold it back here so both y'all, Instagram and TikTok, can see. Little sea turtles. Right? 
So this is telling you, hey, like, and look, they're both blue. They're telling you the path will be revealed for you. If you've been wondering, what is my purpose? What is my path? What am I supposed to be doing? You already know. Most of the time, you already know. It's just accepting that and acting on that. Okay, that's the problem because you get in your own way. You question it. Yeah, is that really? Um, well, if it's on your heart, if it's pulling at you, then yeah, really. Okay. This is the um, Spirit of the Animals Oracle. Again, you can find it on Amazon. My new houseboat is blue and white. I keep seeing blue. Oh, I love it. Hang on, Naomi. Let me unhide your comment. Good, good, good. Okay, let's get, let's do Queen of the Moon. I like that. You feel like this reading is for you? Absolutely. That's why I say the more you guys come to these readings, the, the more they're going to resonate. The stronger it's going to be for you, okay? What else do we need to know? You know, this reminds me of um, Finding Nemo. When he goes on, you know, what is it called? The EAC or something like that. And the current, East Australian current. Is that what it is? I don't know. Anyways, he's kind of like swimming and he's watching everybody go by, you know, in this current and he's nervous and he's scared. And they're like, just go for it. Like get in. And so as soon as he got in, boom, he's just floating away and it's taking him to where he needed to go. See, I just popped in my head. Analogies. <laughs> What else do I need to know this weekend? There we go. There's that fear. Okay. Uh, waxing gibbous fear. And look, the birds all represent thoughts. Okay. We have this cage here. We have this inner child, right? This inner self going, I don't know, but I'm afraid. And this being is like, you know what? It's all of these thoughts. It's the cage you put, your, put yourself in. And this is number 11. It's hard to see. I could barely see that's at the top. But, yeah. You love my analogy? It's good. Everything I spend comes back to me times 10. That's, that's the affirmation. Oh, I love a good analogy. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Thank you for the help, Tanya. Yeah. Okay, I wasn't going to say anything, but you mentioned Nemo. I saw a turtle last night and a feather out of nowhere floated down in front of me. Oh, nice. But yeah, this fear is, is all the thoughts. It's all the things from the past that you expect are going to happen to your future. And that's a lie. Okay, I'm telling you, as somebody who is living this reality, you don't have to repeat these experiences. You can step out of that anytime you want, and you can get into the flow much more easily than you realize. Okay, so let's get the money deck. I forgot, I do need to uh, make this a little bit shorter because I've got to go get some stuff done before I take my son to get his driver's permit. It's going to be a fun day at the DMV. Okay. What do we need to know? What is our message for money this weekend? And we already got unexpected income. That's exciting. Okay. What is our money message for this weekend? The artist. There's three ways to resonate with this card, okay? Number one, focus on finding the beauty in your day-to-day -day life. That's what I was talking about when you express gratitude. Anytime any, some, anything good happens, no matter big or small, express gratitude and feel it, okay? You have to feel it. Otherwise, it's just empty. Number two, the artist can be a photographer, painter, film, graphic artist, or a web designer. If you've been wanting to get into that field, here's your sign. That's something that you need to commit to if that's what you're wanting to do. You have to just put the blinders on and freaking go for it, okay? Number three, if you can't make a living with your art, 
full-time, start part-time, just get started. Whatever it is that you're wanting to do, art can be anything. Like whatever, what I do is art because I'm creating this experience. I'm creating uh, whatever it is, you know, we, we are the co-creators, right? So there's lots of things that can be, can be considered art. So it's like the art of divination, okay? So if there's something that you're wanting to do, it's like just freaking get it started, all right? Let's do one more and then we'll do the Rebel deck. That card, the Deceit card and the Fairy card really hit hearing it today. Good. Publishing your book by March 29th. Ooh, get it. Yes, card reading is an art for sure. <laughs> All right. This is a message to you from your higher self. More blue. Lost in the ruins of the past. Find the way to the present moment and live. Okay? Find the way to the present moment and live. Don't just exist. Live. Two different things. All right? All right. Now let's get the rebel deck. All right, if you get offended easily, this is the time to scroll away because this deck has an attitude, kind of like me, and we love it. And it will call you out on your shit, not so nicely, okay? You love new chapters? Me too. All right, what is our message for this weekend? What is our message for this weekend? Time to let go. Move the fuck on. <laughs> I mean, we just got stuck in the ruins of the past, right? And it's telling you, like, it's time to move on. It's time to go from poverty to abundance, okay? To expecting good things to come in, right? It's like, stop, stop playing small. Stop self-sabotaging. Stop limiting yourself. Because it, the more you limit yourself, the, the more frustrated you're going to be in life. And the more regrets you're going to have at the end of your life. Okay, and think of just how we talked about, are you going to be in the same place as you are this year? Are you going to be in the same place next year? And a lot of y'all are like, no, I'm not going to do that. So you have to decide, okay, what am I going to do? What changes am I making in order to not have me in the same place next year? Okay. Lost in the Ruins was number 18. It's such an amazing message. It goes off of what I pulled last night. Good. Awesome. I feel it and expect it. I see the possibilities. Yes. Anything is possible. Look here. It says you are loved. Isn't that nice? You are here for a reason. It says don't fuck it up. <laughs> I love it. Because remember how I was saying, I was, I was meant to pull that card too. Um, remember how I was saying, you wouldn't be here if you weren't here for a reason. You know, you wouldn't have this stuff on your soul or in your heart if you weren't meant to experience it. So what are you, what are you worried about? What are you waiting on? Embrace the experience. Give yourself permission to have the experience. Okay? And if something goes wonky, let me tell you another thing. I'm sorry. If something, I was going to say, if something goes wonky, in the meantime, you just adjust your course. But let me tell you something right quick. Um, when your manifestations are about to come in. This is this is weird. It's it's a weird way the universe works, but when your manifestations are about to like show up, you will more than likely experience um a time where it feels like everything's going wrong. <laughs> okay? You'll feel like it, like nothing your manifestations are coming all of that and that's a test, okay? Are you going to let go of that manifestation or are you going to hold the vision? Because if you hold the vision, boom, here it comes. The wheel of fortune turns. Because what happens when a wheel has to turn, right? So you're, you're, you're turning, you're turning. You have to go down before you go up, right? 
So I've, I've experienced this myself and I know many others have experienced it as well. Whenever your manifestation is about to show up, it feels like a giant shit show. Okay. And just know that that means, okay, a round of amazing things is coming and I'm ready for it. Okay. You're so very welcome, y'all. You felt like that at the beginning of the week? Ugh, same. So, yeah. Take all of these. Remember, I give myself permission to. Everything I spend comes back to me times 10. And if you start going through hard times, expect your manifestations to show up soon. Okay? So if you missed the beginning of the reading, don't worry. I'm going to put it up on YouTube. Um, make sure you follow me on YouTube because I won't get the email out until later today because I literally have to like finish up here, upload the video and then run and get my errands done so I can get my son to the DMV because you know, he, it's going to last all day. Um, so yeah, make sure you follow me on YouTube. Everything is linked in my bio, but if you need anything else, I'm always here. Okay. If you're ready to level up in your spiritual self, then apply to the QMA and I will be in touch soon. Okay. But do not apply if you're not at like a nine or a 10 as far as your commitment. And I will know by your answers if you're lying to me. Okay. I can tell. I can read through it. Okay. <laughs> so have a wonderful weekend. Mwah. And I will see you here Monday morning, 9.30 a.m. Central Standard Time, where we're going to look at the week ahead. We're going to talk more, learn more, evolve more, and do all those things. Oh, thank you for the hearts. So, yeah, y'all have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you Monday. Bye, y'all.